Hello guys, this is Vivek and this is 26 tutorial of this Linux tutorial series. In the last tutorial, we saw a presentation about Linux partitions and how we can, how are the different partition formats and what are the different um, ways in we can do it. Now it's time to have a hands on on that. But before we do, we need to have a space or a disk uh, which we can do a partition on. So I'll show you on VM player uh, how you can add a, a blank a raw disk. So let's go to a Linux distribution. Go to do a right click, click on settings. So you see that <clears throat> whatever resources I have allocated to it, it's been shown here. 2 GB processor, hard drive. All right. <clears throat> we are going to add a hard drive here. So we will click on add. And we need to add a hard drive. We click on next. SCSI, that's fine. You can select ID or SATA if you need. New virtual disk, that's fine. Uh, what should be the maximum size? Let's select it for 5 GB only. Cool. We'll click next. Uh, just leave the name default. Click on finish. Now it has got two disks attached to it. One is the default drive and another one is 5 GB. Let me boot the machine and then I'll show you that this is added there or not. Now we have attached the drive to the disk, uh, disk to the operating system here, Linux. So we'll see whether it's reflected here or not. So we will open a terminal, we'll become a super user. And then we'll type the command df minus h. Oh, sorry df minus h do you see anything different here any new disk added no you don't so we'll type f disk minus l so we have already one disk added here previously which is f device slash sta that is 21.5 gb we also added a new drive here that is f disk or slash device slash sdb that is 5 gb around 5 gb in size so next we are going to see the partitioning cool so we are going to type f disk slash dev slash stb cool now it's asking what command you want to do m if you type it will give you all the help options available so this lists down whatever things which is possible to do or to operate on this drive. If you want to print a partition table, you can type P. If you want to create a new partition, we'll type N. If you want to save, it's W, that is right. So let's create a new partition here. We'll create a new partition. Uh, let's create a primary partition or you can just hit enter or you can select P for primary. Then if you want to change the partition number, you can type the number or you can just hit enter, it will select by default one. First sector, leave it default. Last sector will create a size of one GB. So you can either type K, M, G, that is for kilobyte, megabyte and gigabyte. So we have selected one GB, all right. And we have mentioned plus, means plus one GB of size. Good. one partition is created let's see let's print the partition so we have created one partition of 1 GB in size let's create another partition in another primary partition we can create partition number two by default its starting point is now changed we'll select default by hitting enter and then what size so we'll select suppose 500 MB 500 M now we need to write this changes we'll type a W done now the partition table is changed but to actually update the partition table in the kernel we need to type a command called part probe Never forget to type this command, otherwise these changes will be lost. So, 
it's saved the change it gave some error but uh, that is uh, you may ignore as of now now let's see is it being shown here no it still is not being shown here but if you type f disk minus l so sta1 sta2 was the original was from the original drive and we added a new drive here stb so one two are the two partitions that we created one for 1 gb another for 512 mb so this is how you create the partition now how you can delete the partition is it possible to delete let's try we'll try f disk slash device slash slash stp okay now let's see if you want to delete the partition now if you hit d it will ask which partition do you want to delete let's suppose we want to delete a second partition we'll hit number two partition two is deleted let's save this by typing w that is right now we need to save these changes we'll type part probe the changes are saved so the gdisk is the utility for creating partition using gpd you can create new partitions in the same manner like we did using mbr and at the end don't forget to type part probe so guys play around with this add drive to your virtual machines type try to format it try to create new partition delete new partitions until and unless you don't practice you don't learn all right don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you don't miss further updates thanks for watching guys